Yeah, thanks. And all of that chaos this morning causing concern for both parents and students. Our team coverage continues. 23 ABC's Brandon Johansson joins us with what students who were inside those classrooms had to say after the ordeal. Brand that's right, Jessica. All those parents were gathered here at Garden in the Sun Park earlier today, waiting to find out exactly what was happening inside the school. Not long after they were allowed to go down this road, down Walnut Street here to Arvin High School to collect their kids and everything. And that's when we found out a little bit more about what happened inside. It was just like any other Monday morning at Arvin High School until around 10 a.m. That's when they announced uh, lockdown. This is not a drill. Richard Santoyo and the rest of his Arvin classmates suddenly having to spring into action. Uh, my teacher locked the doors. And we got the bookshelves and just barricaded ourselves inside. We all did what we had to do to get serious. Getting serious after reports of someone potentially with a gun on the campus. Nayeli Valencia spoke to 23ABC while she was inside one of those classrooms. Uh, we have to turn off the lights and then since we have an extra room, we went inside there and then hit. All the students hiding as police went door to door. Searching every classroom in the school. Searching for the threat. Well, they're scared, just like me. We don't know what to do. That threat ultimately found to be non-existent, with police saying that there was never a person with a gun on or near campus. But social media played a role in making everyone a bit more nervous. The, guys in here? the story feeds on itself. Social media doesn't help in that regard. Uh, and so when I came out to the crowd, I was kind of surprised at some of the rumors that were circulating. It brings that fear factor because uh, most didn't know what to do and didn't know what was happening and what was going on. They were just posting. Now, Santoyo also said that he felt very safe because of the actions and the execution of law enforcement out there today. He also mentioned that they had they had done drills for this exact type of situation, and that helped make him feel safe as well. For now in Arvin, Brandon Johansson, 23 ABC News.